Your camera is a window into your creative vision, and anytime that window moves, you're adding a whole new level of information to your pod. There are a few different ways to position your camera for a shot. The simplest camera support of all of them is your hands. Now, I know that sounds really obvious, but think about it for just a second. Anytime you look at footage that's been shot handheld, you know it was shot handheld. It's shaky, and it makes the audience feel the point of view of the camera person. Definitely wins for convenience, but shaky cam gets old. The best way to control camera shake is when you use two hands instead of just one. Try and distribute the weight of the camera as much as possible so that one of your hands doesn't get tired and start to shake. If you're trying to get a long shot, put your elbow into your stomach and then your hand under the camera to form a support. Now, if steady and solid is your look, a tripod will give you the smoothest and most transparent moves. When the camera pans or tilts, your attention stays on what's happening inside the picture. There's also controls that tighten or loosen the drag so you can get just the right amount for the speed of your move. Monopods are cool because they're much more mobile than a full tripod. You can pan, tilt, or hold on shots much more smoothly than handheld, but not quite as solid as a full tripod. Although, you can get some really smooth shots if you really work it. So, what if you want the best of both worlds? Well, if you want the total freedom of handheld with the smoothness of a tripod, you're looking for a dolly or a steady cam to get what's called a tracking shot. That's how Hollywood movies get that ultra smooth, flashy look. Now, I know you don't have that kind of dough, so here are some cheap alternatives. If you want to fake a smooth looking tracking shot, try lying on a skateboard, rolling in a wheelchair, or shooting from a slow moving car. Also, you can attach a cheap tripod to your camera and use it as a counterbalance for a fake steady cam look. Experiment. You never know what you're going to come up with. Oh yeah, one last thing. Chill out on the zoom control. Zooming is not a camera movement, and it never looks as good as actually moving the camera. Use the zoom control to compose the shot, then hands off. Too much indecisive zooming is really annoying to look at.